In today's tutorial, I'm going to be walking you through how to draw Our Lady of Cabejo. We celebrate her feast day on November 28th, and I'm going to show you how to draw her using simple lines and simple shapes. For this project, all you need is a piece of paper, a pencil, and something to color with. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to draw an oval shape for her head close to the top of your paper. So I'm going to draw out my oval shape and you can make it as big or as small as you want to on yours. Feel free to make any changes that you want to in your artwork. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on her neck. So I'm gonna draw one line on the left side, one line on the right side, and I'm gonna connect them together with a line like a smile. She has this um, lace collar, so I'm going to be doing these um, bumpy lines. So I go up and down, think kind of like a rainbow. And I just do that till I get to the other side like this. Next, I'm gonna be working on her hands that are folded in prayer. So underneath her collar, I'm going to start off with a straight up and down line like this. And I'm going to do a curved line that comes down, gets bigger at the bottom and swoops like that, kind of like a raindrop. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, a little skinnier at the top, wider at the bottom. When it's all done, it kind of reminds me of an upside down heart shape. We're gonna put in two long stretched out ovals for her arms. So there is gonna be one that comes over towards the left, comes around and connects to that hand. And we're gonna do another one. So you draw a line that comes down at an angle, curves around and connects to that hand. In between her arms, I want you to draw a curved line like a smile for her waist and underneath each of her elbows, we are going to draw a long straight up and down line to create the length of her dress. So you just stop the line wherever you want the bottom of her dress to go. And we're gonna do the same thing on this opposite side. You're drawing a matching line that comes down and towards the bottom like this. We're going to be doing a curved line. So it's kind of starting in a similar spot as the lines for the dress. We're going to do a curved line. It starts up straight, but when it gets to her head, you're gonna curve it for her veil. And we're gonna have it come down and stop when we reach her arm. We're going to draw a diagonal line starting at her neck and go down towards the left. And we're gonna do a downwards line but towards the right for the other shoulder. By her elbows, we're going to put a slightly curved line that starts at her elbow and goes off to the side. And that creates like this bend in the fabric. Starting at the top of her head, we're going to do a slightly diagonal line that comes down towards the left and stops when you reach her elbow. And we're gonna do a similar line starting at the top of her head, but going down and towards her right side elbow. And I can erase these lines here because I no longer need them. I'm going to be drawing a line that comes down for each side of her veil. So it's angled just a little bit towards the bottom of her dress. So it's like this really slight angled line. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this right side. I'm gonna angle my line in and down and stop when I get to a similar spot at the bottom of her dress. We're gonna work on her rosary next. So we're going to be doing a 
big U shape. So kind of starting at the top of her hands, you're going to draw a line that comes down and then swoops back up and ends at the top of her arm like that. And we're gonna do a straight down line at the bottom of that U. And at the bottom, I'm going to put my crucifix in. So I'm kind of making a bigger line. So we have a longer straight up and down line. And then we have a shorter line like that for our cross. And I'm gonna put some little circles on the lines to create some of the beads of the rosary. And you won't be able to fit all of them, but just try to fit as many as you can. Oftentimes in her statues and artwork, you'll see flowers at her feet. So we're gonna put in some simple flowers. So the first thing that we're gonna do is right in the middle, I'm going to put a circle and I wanna do two more circles, one over here and one over here. And these are gonna be for the big red flowers. So around each of those circles, you're going to do a curved line. And each curve is kind of like a U shape and it creates the petals of the flower. And I just try to do as many as I can before I run out of room. And you of course can do any style flower that you wish. I'm just trying to keep it a little bit simple. I'm gonna put two more similar kinds of flowers. I'm gonna do a little circle on each side for those centers. And then I can also do my little curved lines around as many or as few as I can fit. And last but not least, we have these little blue ones. So for those ones, I just draw a line for the middle and I do like these little bumps, kind of like the collar of her dress, as many or as few as I can fit. For her face, I'm just gonna do simple circles for her eyes. So right about the middle of the oval, I'm going to put two circles for her eyes. And in my example, I added a little eyelash on each edge like this. In between her eyes and the bottom of her chin, I'm gonna put a little curved line for the bottom of her nose. And I'm gonna draw a straight up and down line near this eye on the left side. So we have a hint of the bridge of her nose. In between her nose and her chin, I'm going to put another curved line for her smiling mouth. And I'm going to put a smaller curve underneath to hint at her bottom lip. Above her eyes, I'm going to put two more curves for her eyebrows. So for her halo, I traced this um, circular candle tin lid for my halo. I just try to put it on top and trace around the edges with my pencil. And unless there are any other details or changes that you want to make to, to your drawing, you can go ahead and color it. So I'm gonna be using markers. And when I use markers, I love to use black pens kind of like this so I can see my artwork even better.
Thank you so much for drawing along with me. I would love to see how your artwork turned out. Feel free to tag me on social media and know that I post new Catholic inspired art tutorials here on my channel every week. Another way that you can help support my channel is through my buy me a coffee page and art supply wish list. I want to remind you that you are loved. God loves you very much and he loves your artwork very much. Thank you so much for drawing along with me and I'll see you in the next video.